Um, the next to the so we're back on 94.7 FM and we're doing some, some guy talk. And before we left, uh, I had posed a question about uh, in this age of independent women, how do you think that will impact relationships? And I define for Mr. Gray uh, what independent <laughs> would be in this particular uh, instance. So. Can I get somebody to just give me a little bit of feedback on that so that we can move on to the next? Um, as far as an independent woman? Uh -huh. how, how, how does that impact relationships for, I, I, from a male perspective? From my point of view of it, I think it's, it's good. I mean, you know, you work together. I mean, like we talked about earlier, that's where your soulmate comes in, where you're working together to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. Whatever that may be, the household, or right. paying off a house, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. You're working together. As a family, and um, I don't have a problem with a woman working. I don't have a problem with a woman doing what she spending money or whatever. Just uh, um, you know, as long as you can, I always been as long as you can pay your bills, and as long as everybody's happy, as long as your kids are taken care of. Yeah. Fine, you know. Well, definitely need a woman with her own identity. I've heard that mentioned because I think people have to realize, for a long time, I don't think we did that they're human. They, are, they were not designed to just follow us around. Now, you might like that, but I don't think that any human being was designed to be controlled by another human being. So the independence is wonderful, but again, in the Bible study, it tells us that there's somebody for everybody. Now, mm -hmm. we get picky sometimes and want what we want, but if we would take the time to seriously look it doesn't matter if she's making a million dollars. If you're the right kind of man, she'll help, she'll divide that. My, you and my Uncle Peter would tell us, uh, if you got a dime, she got a nickel. Mm -hmm. And if she got a dime, you got a nickel. When you can find that, all the independence in the world don't really matter. Yeah. It does not matter. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I'm, I'm fine with an independent woman. Uh, at the end of the day, um, albeit still sharp and steel, yeah. If you really want to be the best you are, you're going to get a woman who's going to push you to be the best you are. Amen. And who's going to push you better than a woman who's already set in achieving her goals and being independent. And she's not going to let you slack off because technically she doesn't need you. So that you got turns, you got to match her. You got to match her. Yeah. You got to upgrade yourself just as much. Or maybe she has to do the same, whatever it may be. But you just can't come in bare minimum thinking that everything's going to be okay. You really have to be on your game. And, and essentially meet her at her at her at her best. I've heard it said that uh, many times that guys aren't necessarily emotional beings. And I I heard uh, not good at showing James, it. yeah, not good at showing it. Yeah, and I heard James say um, early on about um, men being so visual, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and and do you think that's what Sometimes women, why women mistake the emotional piece because you guys are visual and, and it tends to make us think that you're not, you can't connect emotionally as quickly as women or well, we is don't, that true, we, false, whatever? We, we don't really do emotion uh, in the beginning mm -hmm. because every emotion that we have is not the same with every woman. Mm -hmm. So we literally have to learn this woman that we're interacting with before we can even give her a piece of our emotion. The, the whole you, because a lot of people, women, might take advantage of that. To where they, they, they witness you at your vulnerable state. Yeah. Now they, they, they found, oh, that's where he weak at. Right, and we're they took, your, right took your meekness for your weakness, essentially. That's very that's interesting. Young brothers. Yeah, that's very interesting. So you don't, so you don't leave with your emotion, you kind of... Uh, you gotta earn it. You, put you, it almost, you almost gotta earn it out of them. Just like a man should be earning your emotional state out of you. You can't just haul off and just dump it on them. The same way we couldn't just come at so you. So what is then the reason that women are hurt a lot by men because they jump in with their emotions, mm, you know, just, right off the bat? I'm, I'm not a woman. I can't answer that. They, they, <laughs> from, from, from what I've seen, they set the expectations high. <laughs> they gonna bring from whatever damaging relationship they came from, and they are gonna try to compare you to who, whoever that other person yeah, was. That's true. Nah, that's man, true. that ain't me. I can't speak for him, but I know I can speak for me. And at the end of the day, well, I'm gonna do what I have to do to make you happy. If if you wanna, well, this and it, that, well, look, you can 
can't go through that door that you came in yeah. because I don't have time for it. Okay. Reverend Shaw said that that uh, love was something men had to learn how to do. Uh -huh. I will object to that and let you have it, but I'll object to that. I, I think learning how to like is much di more difficult than learning how to love because we are create we are creatures created in love. So love is naturally in us. God is love and God has given place love in us and our parents have placed love in us. So we know what love looks like. What we have to do is learn how to like and, and, and why that's so so difficult is you gotta like things that you don't love. Well, you, have, you have to like when, when a person does something that you'd rather they'd done something else. Could I get and learning how to like is a little bit more difficult than that. Love. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because I really do think this. That's just, just one man's opinion. Men do love. Yes. Women are the ones that like. Uh -huh. yeah, they'll put up with a lot more. Than Women people. will put up with stuff yeah. and may not love. Because when she loves, it's forever for her. Yeah. It's almost unconditional. And we have mistaken love in a lot of ways as mm -hmm. sex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You Whoa. love me Ooh. because you give it to me. Yeah. Whoa, that so, one? so many times, and, and I, I don't know, I think people say men don't have emotions. I think we, we do. The best I think we hide the heck out of them. Yes, sir. We I, mean, do. We, I think we camouflage them in so many ways. They say we don't have emotion, but yet oh, yes, an upset man, do. that's an emotion. Like you said a, ball game. a quiet man, that's technically an emotion. an emotion. He's showing you, yes. he's showing you an emotion. A quiet, reserved guy is literally showing you his emotion. Yes, an upset exactly man right. is showing you his emotion. A happy guy is showing you his emotion. Now, what you guys perceive it as, that's on you. That's on you. you. How you read I that like book, it. it's on you. But right. I'm giving you what I am. And that's your past experiences is going to be what? Because maybe your last guy was real quiet, and that made him real secretive. Right. But your new guy's real quiet because he's always deep he's in thought. Naturally he's just naturally quiet. deep in thought uh -huh. all the time. So, so, um, hmm. I'm, I'm hearing like that. that something that you guys said just a moment ago. Are, are men, do you kind of hide your, the emotion at first or whatever because you said, like, you may take advantage mm -hmm. of it or whatever. So is it this fear of, of, of being hurt or, or whatever? And, and, I'm, and where I'm going with that is when you have that man that is hurt, uh -huh. a man that has been broken, right? Because we talked about, we talked Sad and the girls talk about a, a woman that's been broken a woman, and, and the, the ones that um, bounce back versus the ones that become bitter. Uh -huh. um, what does it usually look like from a male perspective? On you, bro. What does it look like from a male perspective? I mean, to be broken, what a broken man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is that why you guys hide your emotion up front? Because you have that fear of, of giving too much of yourself emotionally, and then if, if, if it doesn't pan out the way you had hoped, you know, you're going to be broken? I don't think I don't think that's that's it right there. I mean, uh, um, I should say most men. Uh, most men. I don't think they're broken. You know, most men. Uh, we're, we're, we're we're guarding our heart at all times, pretty much. That's you know, what, that's what I'm basically you know, saying. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, but you know, some of us can we can love you. Uh, and, and you all look for us to uh, give you some things that we can't give you. For instance, I mean, I mean, you can. You first of all, I think when it comes to love, you gotta love yourself first. I totally you know, agree. With you that. know, you love yourself first, and you want us to do some things for you sometimes. That you mean you, like fix us, or is that what you mean like you say do stuff like you know like, like we're broken? Are right. You, saying, you said we have to love ourselves first. Yeah, I'm love yourself to, first. Love yourself uh -huh. first, and. Uh, uh, you just, you know, I don't, you want to wait on the man to do everything some, some women do, you know. When sometimes you do it yourself. If you want to, you, you want the man to make you happy, but happiness starts within you. You Ooh. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It, that starts with you. You know, if I'm, I don't, I'm not going, if I'm married, I'm not going to expect my wife to make me married. She can contribute to it. But it's going to be, I'm going to, hey, this is going to be me, you know. I can't expect for somebody to do for me what I can do for myself. That starts with me first. Then not nobody else. He wanted the camera. That's <laughs> <laughs> your um, When it comes down to that, I, I've, I've been hurt so much to where 
I've seen what my mom went through and like seeing that well, well okay well my mom what my dad was doing was wrong so well, let me open up to these women you know if I, if I consider myself somebody that's trying to uh, court you or whatever the, the terminology that you want to use for it and you turn around and, and use everything that I've opened to you about against me made me you know broke me down to where like yeah like come on man why would you do that to me I would have never did that that to you so I feel like a lot of women well yeah well he's the well a lot uh, 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 women have managed ways and I'm gonna just leave it at that M women have managed ways they act like a woman but think like a man they, exa they savage they, they, sa they savage and they cut through yeah I don't, I don't. tough and I don't I don't I don't really see emotion I, I mean I'm just saying when I wear my heart on my sleeve I do if, too. if I'm okay with you I'm okay with you if I'm not I'm not exactly. I, don't really, I don't really try to hide it like I said I give everybody up front if you like it stay if you don't you can move to the left. Um, but when it comes to ha hiding our emotions, I'm really one that's, um, I want to. I want you to earn it just like I want to earn yours. Don't just come out here and give me all. It's like there's no way you can like me that much in two weeks. The same way I can't give you all of me in two weeks. Can you guys so, be in love with more than one woman at, at once? No. Nah. That's yes. A lot, that's a lot no. of energy. I'm no. Tommy on this. Yes. No. That's a lot of energy. Oh, shoot. Hey. I know y'all young. You can, just, just hold on. Let's listen. <laughs> We can love what A does one way and love what B does. Are now, in love with Bob? oh no, I, right. I'm sorry. Right. Your right. question right. is, I'm love. sorry. Right. You guys are right. I don't know. Can't, can't be in love. You can't be in love. You can't love. Okay. You're going to have to pick one. Okay. You're going to have to pick one. Okay. Why do you think that there is such a spike in divorce? Um, Information. For uh, the people that have been married like 30, 40 years and then Social media, like, information, women don't options. Need no more, you know, Social the women make more money than the men. Let me hear one at a time. So, so you know, our at one time there was a financial crisis I would say, with, with, with women. The women do just as well as the men do now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, they don't need them like they used to. So to me, that's a far answer to what I was asking a minute ago when I said mm -hmm. in this yeah, age of, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they got support groups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Honey, leave him. It's time. They got support groups. You know, come I do know. Why are you still here? If you've given him 30 years. I disagree. I, I, I understand. <laughs> I don't disagree with what you're saying. I, I disagree with the, why the trend is here. Uh -huh. I think the trend represents two things. One, a change in the mentality about the commitment to God when you stand in front of the preacher and say, till death do us part. Like I, I, I think that, that's kind of gone by the way of the dinosaur or the dodo bird. It's, it's, it's in another place. <laughs> mm -hmm. The second thing is, there's no longer, and since we're talking about men and women, there's no longer the stigma with to women where you have to face your friends and your friends ask you why did your husband leave you that's that the back to your support group thing now so it's more acceptable in society now in america which is why you see more uh divorces than we've ever seen before let me put a third thing on that the third thing is god didn't join together all those things that 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 are getting put asunder uh two weeks two months two years later it's very true so uh, before we go to break, if we can take about a minute to a minute and a half and just talk about this. The definition of marriage has changed, as we all know. Mm -hmm. It has changed. So I think what you just said is a good uh, transition into that. Um, how, how is that impacting how you uh, approach dating and marriage? Marriage has uh, almost I become mean, a business, though. Yeah, Ooh, but we, it is. But like, we're, I don't. I mean, we're not saying we're taking the love out of it, but literally, it's really almost a business, and that's how you have to 